Hey guys, what's up? Bisectatron here from One Hive Gazette. Here with my next war recap video, and this one was against um, Oregon War Clan. Uh, very, very good clan. Um, I actually had, I think, one of their guys comment on one of my videos during the war, so I'm glad they reached out to me, and uh, shout out to their clan. They um, put up a pretty good, uh, pretty good war. Obviously, they struggled on some of our top bases, but... Um, they were able to get some three stars and our nines, especially some of the top ones. Um, obviously, still a lot of two stars, but um, they were using uh, a lot of the you know three star strategies, and they were mismatched a little bit. I think um, they had some town hall sevens, and um, their town hall nines tended to have lower level heroes, so they were at a bit of a disadvantage. Um, on our side, we uh, got. You know, everything two star up top besides that one Town Hall 10, and then we did have a Town Hall 10 three star, and then everything below was three starred as usual. Um, so, a good war by Oregon War Clan. It looks like they're kind of transitioning from some of the Go Wipe, Go Wee Wee to more of the Queen Walk Hog attacks because they had some very nice uh, high level war attacks, but um, <clears throat> a little bit of the Go Wipe, Go Wee Wee mixed in. So, it's a progression, and uh, if you guys are watching this, just keep it up and keep developing those three-star strategies. But anyway, though, unfortunately, I went on to record today to find some attacks, and most of them are gone. Um, that one update with the uh, loot cart and just a few other changes um, that wiped clean all the replays for the most part, but I still have two to show. Um, I'm going to show a Town Hall 10 three-star attempt. Um, I think it was Psycho that actually got the Town Hall that was a Town Hall 11, 11 coming down to get the Town Hall 10. Um, but I'm going to show the of the attacks we have. We have uh, Chaos um, going in on number 2 and getting pretty close to getting the 3-star here. And um, obviously very cool to see him using Hogs. Um, like I said, at Town Hall 10, the, really, the only viable option, I think, is to use um, Go La Loon against good bases. But this one's kind of compact, so I could see using Hogs because there's not a lot of spots for Giant Bombs or Spring Traps. Um, so, like I said, hogs are still usable. They're just um, difficult to use, in my opinion. Uh, but Chaos does a good job here, coming in with a, quite a few golems. Just going to bust in with some wall breakers. Um, and I think he yeah, has an earthquakes. Yeah, use some earthquake spells to get into the core. Um, everything making its way through. Drops of rage. Um, getting the golems into the core of the base. Everything looking pretty good. Both enemy heroes are down. Um, the Lava Hound is taking some damage, but... Uh, it busts right there, and uh, the pups go down pretty quickly. Now, already coming in with the hogs here, and with a heal at the bottom. Uh, everything was going pretty good right here. You can see the hogs making their way through, but that inferno does wear off, and it starts to target some of the hogs. Uh, they start going down. Right here, the golems and a few hogs get up onto it and finally take it out, but uh, the damage is pretty much already done at this point, and all the hogs are dead, so... Uh, the king is at full health, the queen is at full health with uh, her ability, has minions for the bottom for cleanup, just the hogs weren't able to last quite long enough, maybe should have been a little bit uh, later on the freeze, so it lasted until the hogs took out the inferno, but uh, whatever the reason, very close here, maybe level 40 heroes would have gotten the 3 star, I actually don't know to be honest, but uh, gets very close here, and uh, an encouraging hog attack to see at Town Hall 10. Um, still showing there might be some hope for balance at the Town Hall 10 level outside of just Go Loon. So last few troops make their way through. A um, few minions and a wizard. Gets a pretty high percentage here, so up to 84%, I think. Uh, nice attack by Chaos, very close to a 3-star, so uh, fun one to watch. All right, only going to be able to take a look at one more. Um, obviously, just have a one star here that it's not really worth showing. So um, we're going to go down to 13 and watch uh, Pelade take out number 13. Peeled Pelade. Uh, two ways to say every name, uh, like I said, for most people in the clan. But anyway, um, coming in with a max attack, it looks like. So has the uh, Earthquakes plus a Rage and a Heal for his kill squad. So making a big investment, making a big push into the base. Um, coming in with some wall breakers has a little bit of trouble because that expo gets on the wall breakers but it get, they get the job done um, and he's able to bust into the first compartment has the quakes to let everything keep moving forward um, nice and late on the king to prevent him from taking unnecessary damage you can see he comes in right there lava hound in the CC that's going to distract the queen for a little while uh, but the king and the golems are going to keep moving forward and um, 
One thing I always like to do is I like to th sprinkle in one or two wizards behind the kill squad. Just because I think the golems are already there, um, so might as well get some more damage, especially if you have lower level heroes. Um, the, the wizards do almost as much damage as the heroes, so um, just for four troops based, you can, you know, multiply the damage by a few times if you bring some wizards. So uh, that's just my opinion. But even with just the heroes, he gets pretty deep into this base. You can see both air defenses are down, um, has the poison for the lava pups. Uh, King's still moving forward. The Queen's backing him up. She's getting a few more defenses. Now coming in with here with the uh, Go La Loon or the Lava Hound part of the attack. Dropping two Hounds down. Balloons to back it up. Working the counterclockwise motion. I like these two Balloons on the left side. No air defense really in the area. So gets a few uh, free cannons. The Queen does go down. But um, she got some more taken care of because the cannons were uh, destroyed. Anyway though, the Balloons still making their way through. Um, no spells left, you already used that haste, but doesn't need any spells, has a balloons coming from every angle. That last uh, Lava Hound bust is a pretty good time, so it gets the pups for cleanup, and the balloons are right there to take out the air defense, and that Tesla, and now it's pretty much just time for cleanup. Um, has a few goblins to deploy, and that's going to do it. This is a three-star. Um, excellent attack, Paylaid. Uh, keep it up. Alright, that's going to do it. Very short recap, I know. Um, but I believe we're having another arranged war uh, next weekend, so stay tuned for that. Um, should be a fun one. Don't know exactly the clan yet, but I believe we have one planned up uh, for this weekend. So, uh, yeah, hopefully get some coverage of that and have quite a few videos uh, like I had for the one uh, last weekend. But anyway, that's going to do it for this recap. Sorry, I know I lost some of the replays. Probably should have recorded some beforehand, uh, but this is just how it worked out. So, hope you enjoyed the two that you saw, and I'll see you guys later. Bisect to try out.